What is going on YouTube world? Today I wanted to show you this. This is the mudguard that Diamondback sent me with my new mission. And this is the mudguard that I made for a little bit less than 25 cents. Uh, they're both made out of roughly the same materials, but this actually came from this. I'm going to show you how to make it. I really like the use of these mud guards, um, but they're like 10 to 12 bucks a piece and I've got five bikes that I need to equip them with. So it's gonna be like 50, 60 bucks to do that. So I started looking around on the internet and I actually found a template and it's a PDF template that you can print right off. And this is actually a perfect size for all of uh, the bikes that I own. Um, I've actually found a way to modify it to fit it to the fat bike too. Uh, so basically what I did is I printed off a bunch of those templates. I've now cut out several of these uh, mud guards and I'll be equipping all of my bikes with them. I think the really cool thing is the fact that I've now got the ability to make eight mud guards and it cost me about a dollar. Okay, so the project's really easy. You're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need that folder that we picked out just a little bit ago. You're gonna need a template of the mud guard that you wish to make. You're going to need a hole punch. You're going to need scotch tape. You're going to need a cutting device. Now I suggest either a razor blade or my personal preference is a rotary cutter. Uh, it gives you a nice clean cut, uh, but they're a little more expensive. Razor blades are usually readily available. And lastly, you're gonna need some kind of a surface to do all of your cutting on. We're gonna start. Now this is several layers, so you can actually make uh, two mud guards out of this one boulder, which is really cool, uh, but we only need one layer to start with. So I'm gonna take my razor blade, I'm just going to cut this side of the board off. And do that and just kind of roll it up along the edge here and it'll cut right through. And then you can set that aside for your next one. Next thing we need to do is we need to take this little pocket and just uh, move it out of the way. So same thing, just the razor blade. Cut like that. You can fold it out of the way. I prefer to just cut it off because it doesn't really help with the product. Ugh, you can see how durable it is there. That little piece is holding on for dear life. Okay, now what we're going to need to do is take your template, and you set it down upside down, and you're just going to take tape roll it around onto itself like so, you can see it, and then you want to stick it, you want to stick it in the template inside of where the mud guard uh, outline is. I usually do probably you know, five or six of these, maybe like Alright, now, take it. Now one thing to note is that this folder actually gives you a little bit more surface area than you would need for a standard size mud guard. So if you wanted to do one for a fat bike that gives you a little bit more coverage for your rear tire, all you've got to do is cut the template in half and just take the pieces all the way out to the edges until the ends of the uh, mounts here line up with the edge of your folder and that's going to give you a nice wide fender for your fat bike. I'll actually be making one for my bike. So once it's taped on, it's really easy. All you're going to need is your cutting surface, and then I am going to use the rotary cutter. However, like I said, you can do this with your razor blade also. Uh, the rotary cutter gives you a nice clean line. It makes it look a lot more professional. At the end of the day, um, when you look at it, you probably would not even realize that it wasn't you know, manufactured, something that you bought at the store. So what I do is I like to do all my straight lines first, and then I do my curved lines. So let's start with our straights here. So we've got our straights cut, so what we have to do is we have to do our curved cuts now. And with the rotary tool, one of the things that you need to know is you can't just try to rotate it, you actually have to lean it. So just like you would on your bike when you're turning, you lean it into the turns and it actually cuts a really nice curve. So I'll 
demonstrate that here. You gotta kind of hold it upright, like so. Here, and we'll start right in the middle of the curve and just lean it. And now we're going to do this curve and just lean it. Give it a nice rounded cut. And what you'll find is that it just looks a lot cleaner once it's all set. Alright, so once you've got your basic shape cut out, the template actually has points where you actually punch holes. So just go through and punch those out. Now take the template off and voila! You've got yourself a nice mud guard. All right, so these turned out awesome. I'm really excited about how these came out. They look completely professional. I would never know that these were not from a manufacturer or that I made them myself. Um, and the cool thing is, is that I actually get to color match them to the scheme of my bike. So most of the ones on the market are only black, so I was pretty excited to find a blue one that was the exact color of my mission. Uh, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys will go ahead and make a couple of these um, and let me know in the uh, comments and feedback how it went for you. Thanks.